Look at the performance of the brand here in the respective markets. And this is Volkswagen brand, this isn't group. But you can see uh, we've got about, you know, big market shares in, in, in markets like Asia and Europe, but North America, barely 3%. And we know we can do more, we know we can do better, and we will. But uh, you know, that, that just goes to show you why we've made this significant investment and this commitment in, in America and, and Canada and New Mexico, because the North American region has a lot of potential for future success for the brand and the group. And this is another important chart reflecting the Volkswagen brand's recent performance here in the U.S. And this is USA only. This doesn't include Canada and Mexico. But uh, I used to have a former, I had a former boss uh, that used to always call this, you know, chart, uh, you know, the grand piano fell on my sales results, right? Uh, because you can see the shape of it there. It's been up and down, up and down. But it's important to focus, I think, on the right-hand side of that chart. There you can see the recent success that the Volkswagen brand has realized here in the U.S. in the past few years. We've more than doubled our sales. And one of the reasons that we've done that is because of this focus and commitment on the U.S. market. Cars like the Passat, cars like the Jetta, that were engineered, developed, and conceptualized with the U.S. market, the Canadian market, and the Mexican market in mind. Um, now, that's a lot of, a lot of growth, uh, and I think you all recognize that it's really probably not healthy to continue to grow at that rate uh, continually because that puts a lot of stress on the organization. And uh, I think what we're doing now, by design, is we're sort of taking a little pause. We're going to continue to grow, but not at that rate because we have to consolidate and get ready for the next wave, which is part of this Mach 18 plan. And I'll touch more on that in a minute. But if you look at uh, where we're going, you can see this phase two that we're entered in now, which is to continue to drive the momentum of the Volkswagen brand, but consolidate a little bit. Continue to build our dealer network, address our quality, make sure we've got a really good foundation for this next wave of growth where we can achieve the goals outlined by Dr. Wintercorn and our board. And you look at the Volkswagen brand today in terms of the performance, and you can see, uh, I think, some key elements there. You can see, first, the breadth of our portfolio that we have in this market. Uh, we're competing in most every important segment right now as it exists in the U.S. market. And the ones that stand out for me, obviously, are the Jetta and, and the Passat. Um, the Passat, I think, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, a good success story as well. Because if you think back, um, the previous generation Passat, uh, we used to sell maybe 10 to 12,000 unit, units a year per, you know, in, in the U.S. context. Uh, and now, uh, with the U.S. specific engineered and designed car coming out of Chattanooga, we're doing between 10 to 12,000 units a month consistently. And it, it just received the J.D. Power Appeal Award for the second year in a row as the best car in its segment. The Jetta too, another success story. It's in its fourth year of its life cycle right now, but it continues to lead the brand sales and also it's one of the best cars performing in its segment in terms of overall sales volume. So these are just some examples of, of success that resulted from this focus on American market because those two cars, again, were designed and developed specifically with the U.S. market in mind. They weren't just cars that were engineered for a world context or a European context and then shipped over to the U.S. to sell. Um, Another thing that stands out here is the success in diesel, TDI, and you'll hear more about this in the future, but uh, in the U.S. context, 75% of the market is Volkswagen brand sales. And if you add the group, if you add Audi and you add Porsche, that number exceeds 80% easily. Um, and look at the, the volume there. 40% of the Passats coming out of, of Chattanooga are TDIs, and I can tell you right now, at least in the U.S. context, U.S. dealers want even more because of the potential is that is there.